this is a very very great innovation um, as the technical working committee has been from conception from planning from questionnaire review they have participated in the pilot they have participated in the main training and as i'm talking to you they're also on on the field work you know by the time you are involved with the process of data collection and uh, right from the conception to the end to the beginning and all these things you find out that you you the ownership of the output is is is, 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 is your own you don't have any any anything thrown about and some of them are saying ah so they didn't know that this is how it is to go and experience uh, data collections when you go to meet people that have lost their children, not especially like this Vasa, you know, it's like you are reminding them of what has happened and they have far forgotten about it and you are here to ask them questions about what has passed and it's not a it's not the experience is not good, not that it's something they need to remember always. But you, you coming back to ask them, it's like you are reminding them. Some will say, ah, I beg, I've since forgotten about that. In fact, when about this like this uh, vaccination card, we ask them. Some of them will tell you that ah, since the child died, I've you know, I just destroy and condemn everything that concerns the child because I don't want to remember anything. So it's under experience, like people are just emotionally, you know, they feel emotionally unhappy over you coming to ask them questions about things that have happened in their life in the past so but with we just have to just have to calm them down so that you can really get what you want from them we are doing 60 days of field work and 40 days all the technical working group members are part of the field and if you look at our platform you you know that yes a lot of work and experience is being done Hamza Mohammed. I'm the supervisor of Kaduna State Team, VASA 2019. There are many ways of locating the places. Uh, the selection was done systematically for all the clusters. So once, once they, we identify a cluster, we know it has to be located in a state in an LGA, or that is local government, then it has to be in a community or locality, as we are now. As in this case, the EA, um, sorry, the cluster is uh, Abba. It's located in Zaria local government of Kaduna State. There's a map of the cluster we have. Uh, it, it helps us to locate the cluster. We follow through the map, the description of the cluster on the map to get to this place. So that is how we locate clusters. Well, for VASA, I took over as project director about uh, seven months ago. But in research, I've been in research for the past 30 years in the system here. Uh, the, 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 the technical working group, as it is called, is made up of government persons representing the government, Federal Minister of Health, Federal Minister of Women Affairs, National Pri Primary Health Care Development Agency, and a host of other agencies, National Bureau of Statistics. So they make up that team. And it is headed by the Minister of Health. And also the academia is involved. Federal universities, University of Port Harcourt, and various other universities, their lecturers are, in, are there. We have NGO representatives as well. So it is not only government. We have both the government, and non-government organizations, but essentially government organizations that we utilize data that we say, okay, this belongs to us and we put every effort to utilize it. Well, in the course of time, you realize that uh, during some of the training, they added a lot of value to it by telling us government policies that are related to questions being asked and government policies that need to reshape some questions that needed to be asked. 
So the government factor is there in all ramifications. <laughs> <laughs> Every field work has its own challenge. The challenge is especially is this assessing some of the clusters. Even when you get there, where do you stay in some of these rural areas to work? <laughs> We have so many cases here in this Zaria LGA. We have about 20 something cases. So by the time we enter into these households, we ask the women what happened. It's good to discover what really happened because it could be problems of the, there were no facilities, medical care. It could be that they could not assess even the facilities that they have far away. They could not assess it. It could be that there is no money for the household to be able to take the children to the hospital or the pregnant women to hospital. So all of these factors, we don't know which one was most of the contributory factor, but we know they are all factors. So from the data that will be collected, the government will know what really happened and how can they come in. Is it to bring medical facilities closer to the people? You can see how rural this place is. They don't even have a hospital, they don't have a primary health care centre, but Zaria Town is closed, but they can't access there because there's no linking road for these people here to go to the city to assess medical care. So they are just here, they are farmers. Children are dying everywhere. So from the result of the survey, government will be able to know how to bring facilities closer to the people, how to medical personnel deploy them to rural areas, provide medication. So that is one of the major things. You know, you can't, plan, you can't do anything with that data. So it's good to have this data so that the planners and policy makers will know how they can help the people to save the children from dying. That is, in a nutshell, the major reason and the importance. Given the mandate, of generating reliable demographic data for national planning. National Population Commission, in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Health and other key stakeholders, are conducting the 2019 Verbal and Social Survey, which is popularly known as VASA. Uh, so, Really, what, what we really saw there was really touching. We saw, we, we, we had, we interviewed women who lost their child during the DHS, as in they have already recorded. Oh, and we it. still met those same women having oh, newborns oh, again that are still missing, as in newborns that were just lost like two, two days, three days ago. So you see the experience is really, I don't know how to express it, but it's so touching that after like a one year visit to record a woman's dead child, you are still going back to still have, because there were so many things that they lacked, like social amenities were not there, no hospitals, nothing, nothing. And what they have there, I think is basically one of the social things that are preventing them from going to the hospital. They don't go to antenatals, nothing like hospitals in their life from the beginning to the end of every pregnancy. Like these um, Ungwongabas girls that I am talking about, they don't have any PHC there around them. They have to travel far to another community to get access. Most at times when we ask questions, like I can remember this question that we asked, where do you attend, get medicine? It is like other people coming to the communities so 
privately they call them doctors but they are not really professional doctors but they access them calling them doctors so mostly they are like drug sellers or so like chemist owners also so you see this survey i believe will really help very greatly to help see the need of those women and provide those things i believe and in addition to that those women really need like behavioral change of eating because it's like they are not aware of the real importance of going to hospitals or the importance of antenatals and the like even their children when they are sick it's not as if it's that easy for them carrying them to the hospitals the husbands too don't allow them to go on their own take them to the hospital as of now we have uh, in the platform we have uh, uh dissemination to regional levels. We hope we can do it to state level. But uh, it's better to have something than not to have anything. The last time we only did dissemination at the national level. And we know that these problems are not in the national level. They are more in the state levels, especially the northern states. So by the time we get the results of the data, we intend to engage critical actors at the zones with the outcome of the data. Uh, especially on the causes of social and also other causes of death of under five. So, and I think if we're able to engage them in this, uh, probably uh, policies and planning will be developed to ensure that uh, these dates are averted. You can't produce data and dump them by the side. Surely users are necessary. And if users have faith in the content, the tendency is for them to spread the news that this is what went into it and we believe in the quality of that data. So you realize that their participation from the beginning, apart from adding value, also stems into ownership of the whole document at the long run. And the tendency for use is going to be higher than what could have been if they didn't know the processes or procedures that led to the data being collected. I think a lot of value is added into it by their presence. So by the grace of God, at the speed where we are going, we will meet up with the stipulated time. So she can say you don't know my time. Vasa is a process. We are diligent about it. We, are, we believe that the best result will still come out of what is going on because uh, the quality is assured. There's no two way about it. So I think that's, that is the most one can say. <laughs>